So do you know what Sharia law is? Under Sharia law, wives can be beaten. Under Sharia law, females enjoy fewer rights than males. Sharia law, that's the only law those people listen to. Sharia law is alive and well in Texas. They want to change your religion. I don't think so. American Muslims have no desire to impose the Sharia law. People talk about Islam without knowing anything about it. My limited knowledge of Sharia law governs public behavior. And that it further solidifies Islamophobia. Sharia is uh, believed by Muslims to be vital for a life of faith. The Sharia law is not meant to be a substitute to the civil law of uh, any society. In Sharia, it says, you follow the law of the land on which you are on. Sharia is not Islamic law. It is not all about punishments, but it's not all about the rules governing social relations. Sharia is a sacred body of knowledge that informs Muslims how they should live their lives. Under Sharia law, wives do not share the exact same divorce rights as their husbands. And under Sharia law, women are deemed lacking in faith and intelligence. The Quran recognizes the absolute equality of men and women as human beings. That's in chapter 4, verse 124. It says, if any do deeds of righteousness, be they male or female, and have faith, they will enter heaven, and not the least injustice will be done to them. So God certainly does not prefer men over women. There is something known as tekeah, which simply means that it is permissible and even encouraged that you lie. People think that their perception about tekeah is that to believe in, in something, but to say something else. Our faith does not promote uh, lying or being dishonest. The real meaning of takia is if you are threatened uh, by someone to kill you, we are recommended that we save our life. In our faith, saving lives are more important. They are literally bringing in a group that wants to overtake any freedom of religion, blow up uh, little kids, shoot up gay nightclubs, throw people off buildings, and they're saying because they have a right to religion, they have a right to come here with their murderous political Islam that says we will kill everybody that isn't part of our Islam. I believe the U.S. Constitution grants American citizens the right to practice their faith, but we cannot impose it. So the Quran is just like other divine books, has uh, many translations uh, in, in English and other languages. Sharia is wide open to interpretation. And unfortunately, it's something that the average person doesn't know. I don't know much about Sharia law. I was born and raised in Iran. Maybe I heard Sharia law before, but I don't know. A lot of politicians have created fear about the Sharia law. Groups that want to spread fear about Muslims, they do cherry picking. They look at the Quran, and there are some like 6,200 verses in the Quran, and they pick anything that remotely sounds controversial, especially to modern sensibilities. If you look at the Bible, if you read the New Testament or Old Testament, there are a lot of verses that may be controversial, especially to modern folks. But they are even more controversial if you take them out of context. And that's basically what happens uh, with respect to the anti-Sharia campaign in the U.S. They do cherry picking.